What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again giving you the information that you asked me for. Make sure you go to Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook if you want to be a part of some of the discussions. Um, check out some of the Chaz asks and answer those questions. Anything you want to be a part of, go to Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Also, go to the Chaz Ellis Project.com if you want to get a consultation or you want to get access to this live stream that I'm doing on Sunday. It's free, so check that out. Anyway, I was um, talking to somebody today, and they were just basically talking about a situation that they had with a player who, you know, just keeps coming back in and out of their life. And she was kind of like, why doesn't this person just leave me the hell alone? And it brought me to a thought. It brought me to something to basically, you know, to say a lot of women really don't understand how players operate. Hell, a lot of people don't really understand how players operate. So I'm going to give you a little breakdown of, of how players think and why they don't just leave your ass alone. The reason why a player doesn't leave you alone is because they're not like a regular dude. Generally, whatever relationship you had with a player was about whatever they wanted. And what I mean by that is they might have called you up when they wanted to smash, when they needed some money, uh, when they wanted you to cook them something, whatever the case may be. And they really gave nothing in return. They really put nothing into the relationship. So for you to say, why doesn't this person just leave me alone because I no, want to talk, no longer want to talk to them, it's kind of like saying, why does this person keep hanging around at the mailbox when I no longer want to give them free checks? Who turns down free money? A player has been getting basically free money from you. They've been hitting it and making no commitment to you, really offering you nothing, doing nothing for you. So why on earth would they leave you alone? When they know, here's the thing you have to understand about players People don't want to admit this. People don't want to hear this. But players really have a better understanding of women than most people do. Um, and they understand the cycle that most women go through. Basically, the way a player is going to look at it is, okay, I'm going to start smashing for a little while. You're going to get mad eventually because I'm not making a commitment to you. I'm not offering anything to this relationship. I'm basically just getting over on you. You're going to get pissed about that eventually. You're going to stop wanting to talk to me. But I know for a fact that once you do that, you cuss me out a couple times, call me out my name, talk about my mama, steal my jewels, nah, but anything you say, you're going to say some stuff about me. But ultimately, you're going to go out there in the world. You're going to try to talk to some other guy. He's either going to treat you better than me but be lame or, you know, quote unquote lame or not exactly what you're looking for physically, something like that. Or you're going to go out there and find somebody who's a player just like me. And you're going to, and he's probably going to treat you even worse. So where are you, what are you going to do? Eventually, if I continue to call, I continue to text, I continue to email you, Facebook you, it may take months, it may even take years, but eventually the way a player is looking at it is, you're going to start talking to me again. Next, the conversations will get longer. They'll get easier to have for us to have. And eventually, I'll be back over your house again. And then I'll be smashing. You'll be right back in there again. And you have to understand this about a player. The difference between a player and a dude that really likes you is the fact that a dude that really likes you doesn't have a whole bunch of girls on deck. For a player, every time you say you don't really want to get with him, you don't want to talk to him, yada, 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 guess what a player does? He goes and talks to another girl. He may be talking to you and five other girls on a, on um, text messages, emails, and stuff like that at the same time, at the same damn time. He might be talking to all of y'all at the same time. So every time you diss him, he doesn't really take it personally because he's like, okay, she's not ready yet. Let me just keep messing with these other girls until she gets ready again. And then by then, they'll be pissed at me and I can talk to her. That's the way he, that's the way he looks at it. He's not going anywhere because he doesn't see it as something where he has to go. He doesn't see it as a situation where he needs to leave you alone. So what you cuss him out? So what you talk trash to him? He's looking at that like, I have to sacrifice myself on the altar of humiliation because I've contributed nothing to this relationship. So unless she feels like she got over on me in some way, shape, or form, she's not going to want to start talking to me again. So I got to let her cuss me out, talk trash about me. Go off on me, all these kind of things. 
I have to. Otherwise, there's no way she's going to want to deal with me again. A player is just biding his time. He's like, so what? These things mean nothing to me. They don't attack my self-esteem because I don't even care about you. What do I, what do I care if you talk trash about me? What do I care if you cuss me out? I've contributed nothing to this relationship. See, the difference between a player and a dude that really cares about you is when you say those things about a dude that really cares about you, you talk trash to him, you hang up on him, you ignore all his phone calls and things of that nature. When you treat a dude like that that really puts something into a relationship, he gets mad because he put a lot into the relationship. He's like, I've done all this to be in a relationship with you, and now all of a sudden you're going to talk trash to me? You're going to call me names? You're going to hang up on me? You're going to not... Um, you're going to ignore my calls, ignore my texts, all of that. You're going to do me like that? That's how he feels, so he stops calling immediately, stops texting immediately or after a short period of time. A player put nothing into it. So he's like, okay, so you should stop calling me. You should stop taking my texts. You should stop taking my calls. You should hang up in my face. I deserve that. But that ain't going to stop me from trying. I'm going to keep trying until I finally get back in there again. The only way to get rid of a player is to no longer be susceptible to what that person is saying to you. Changing your phone number is cool and everything because that might help you get away for a little while. But, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that they're going to find you. Um, you know, all that other blocking them and all that kind of stuff, that's cool. But it doesn't change the fact that they're going to find you. What you have to do is you have to change the things that made you susceptible to the player in the first place. Because that's what he's targeting. He's targeting the things that made you susceptible to him. He knows that whatever your relationship with this guy that you might have now that's keeping you strong dries up, you're going to be ready for it to, for him or another player again. This is what Matt, this is how you see women go from one player to another over and over and over again because they don't change the things about themselves that put that made them susceptible to that dude in the first place. You have to understand if you go from one guy to another expecting that to fill the gaps in your life, what happens is eventually you're going to be at right pickings for this player again. And guess what? He doesn't care that you smashed all these other dudes or that you smashed another guy or you was with another guy when y'all stopped talking to each other. He doesn't care because he doesn't care about you. All he cares about is what he can get out of that situation and that you're part of his rotation for something that he needs. So what you have to understand is you have to change whatever it is about yourself that makes you susceptible to that dude. You know you probably get lonely. Okay? So start building some friends. Start building some outside interests that don't have anything to do with me. Start building some things that make that make you a fuller and better you. That way, when he comes in and starts talking to you because and you're single, try, he tries to talk to you again when you're single. You're not all super lonely. You don't have. It's not like you don't feel like you can find anybody. Or you don't have anything to do or anything to occupy your time because you've picked up some hobbies. You started improving yourself in different ways. You're doing things to make you feel like you deserve better and that you can actually get better. So now when he hits you up, you're like, you know what? I really don't need to talk to him. I don't need to talk to him or anybody like him. So he's going to start sensing that eventually. Yes, will he keep trying off and on? Of course. But he's going to start sensing that. He's going to start sensing that, okay, wait a minute. I don't think this girl is going anymore. I don't think she really wants to talk to me anymore. And I don't think I can offer her something that's going to make her take this. You know, before it used to be, if he came at you and he started saying a bunch of nice stuff on the phone, trying to get you back, you knew it was all bull crap, but you just wanted to hear it and you didn't want it to stop, so you might have let him smash again. Now you're back. You're back in the situation. But now he's saying these things to you and they don't really seem to be hitting like they used to. He can sense that. He's a player. He understands the game. He's like, man, this ain't working like it used to. Now... When he tries to show up somewhere and you just so cold to him and it's not like you're mad, you just being cold. He's like, I don't think this is going to work. So that's when a player moves on. But a player is not going to leave you alone until he knows for sure that you are no longer a source of sex or whatever it is that he needs. As long as he knows that he can somehow work his way underneath and get in there again, if he knows that that's possible, there's no amount of discouragement there is no amount of insulting. There is no amount of ignoring. There is nothing that you could possibly do to make that dude leave you alone because his pride is not involved. He does not care. It's not making him feel bad about himself. He looks at it like, once I smash all that crap you said to me, I still won. 
if you stop dealing with me and you can stick to that, you won because I wasn't giving you anything. That's my free check that just stopped. You stopped paying me. I stopped smashing you whenever I felt like it, so I lost. That's how you get rid of a player is by changing your situation, changing how you feel internally and making him know for sure without just words, but just the way that you act, the way that you carry yourself. Believe me, he'll see it. When you change that, he knows that he can't come back anymore. He'll roll. He'll just leave and do something else because he was in it just to get what he could get anyway. Hopefully, I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, share this video with somebody else because you know it's a lot of players out there getting over. It's your man, Chaz Ellis. Peace.